What's up there, YouTube? Section 333 here. Going to town on a little bit of a... Uh, smoking today old Toby by country squire um, very interesting blend if you see my video it's funny because I'm gonna post two videos today because I never got around to posting last Friday's video so this is gonna be last Friday's video as well as also gonna go up but in my previous video, I had uh, commented how much old Toby here had almost an identical tin note of Molto Doce by uh, Setliff, uh, which is, I guess, the Setliff Reserve. And it feels like it, it looks like it, it's got the Virginias. Tin descriptions are the same, and I gotta tell you, these are identical tobaccos, in my opinion. I, there may be a difference. I don't know if Sutliff makes this for them, but this is Molto Doce. It, it hands down. And so, yeah, if you're looking for, uh, sometimes this can be hard to find, Molto Dolce. So, yeah, it, it's got that vanilla and caramel and honey all in the tin note here, or bag note in this case. And it, wow. So, like I said, you know, this is, I guess we're calling this Section 333's Middle Earth Blend Series. Um, <laughs> so... Uh, I am, it's easy because they all came in bags, and they're all a little on the moist side, so as they dry out a little bit, I'll decant them into jars, but right now they're all a little bit on the dry side, so I'm just making my way through them at this point. Oh wait, they're all on the wet side. Uh, so I'm just making my way through it. As you saw, it's got a... And then as I make my way through them, and it dries out some, I'll throw it in a jar. But as you see, it's got the ribbon cut. Not a fine ribbon cut like a does have a stickiness to it. And there's definitely a, a casing in there. It tastes just like Molto Doce. Uh, I hope I don't get in trouble for that, but it's very similar to Sutliff Private uh, Reserve there, or Private Stock. Room note is identical. I do like I never got have gotten any type of bite from Molto Doce. And I'm not getting a bite here, but I am getting a tingle. And that's for sure. Very nice. Very nice. Enjoying it with my, uh, this is not OMS coffee. This is Black Label Society, or Odin Force Blend Death Wish coffee. In my OMS cup. Oh. So in my last video, I, um, I definitely said that it seems like there's this trend now with these Middle Earth blends. So I'm trying out, never fails with the plants. Um, 
And how about this weather? Like today, I have had all clouds almost all day. And then over the last like an hour, the front, <laughs> the, the northwestern, or actually it's kind of southwest now, like the southwest side of the house, there's <laughs> so much sun. And, and the sky opened up and still here on the east side, it's still very uh, cloudy. But nice voluminous smoke. Like I said, it's identical. I do get a tingle though. It's not a bite, it, but there is a bit of tingle in this, uh, almost like a menthol type thing going on. So, Lizzie, hold on one moment. I will be back. And I'm back. So where was I? Um, seems to be this trend now with these Middle Earth blends. Uh, I think it's kind of cool. Uh, to me, Hobbits We kind of started the whole thing. Um, none of them is like Hobbits Weed. Um, supposedly, there's a recipe for Hobbits Weed someplace. We'll have to try it out and see if it works. I'll see if I can find it and then see if I can blend it. Which is good because I think what it was with Hobbit's Weed for me was I believe I bought a pound of it when I first bought it. I bought eight ounces and then I went out and bought another eight ounces of it. but I probably have enough Hobbit's weed to last me my life at this point. This, however, I wouldn't call this as good as Hobbit's weed. I would call it as good as Molto Doce, and I can certainly smoke this around the wife and the kids. One hundred percent surely can smoke this. Oh yeah, this is good stuff. Um, I'm not gonna lie. I, I actually enjoy this. this is, I don't enjoy every aromatic immensely, but lately I have been finding a taste for them, and I've been learning to appreciate what they do bring to the table in the world of pipe tobacco. Uh, the reason I originally got Country Squire is they have one, um, I think it might be Bag End, um, is supposed to be a traditional Scottish, and I'm really looking forward to trying that as well, because my mixture 965 is a, I don't know if it's a traditional Scottish, but it is considered a Scottish one, and it's one of my favorite pipe tobaccos. So I am looking forward to trying that. Although, I was able to procure more tins of my mixture 965 and a few other things as well. Oh. This is really good stuff. Well, I do encourage everyone to try this particular pipe tobacco. Um, like I said, it's going to be a short video because I'm also uploading another video today. And I was just very ultra curious about this and its comparison to Molto Doce. So, highly recommended. 
Uh, if you haven't tried this, uh, or you can't get Molto Dolce, or you think Molto Dolce costs too much, because um, that is one of the blends that when they run the Sutliff private stocks, they never let Molto Dolce, never shows up in those sales. Uh, you know, they're, oh, Sutliff private stock, we're doing tins for sale, you know, and you get $5.99, $7.99, Molto Dolce stays 10 bucks uh, a tin. So, if you're interested in trying Molto Dolce, you don't want to spend $10 a tin, get an ounce or two of this. I think I got two ounces of it. Uh, it was definitely cheaper than Molto Dolce. Um, oh. Oh. I'm really liking this. Yeah, really liking this. You see, I put the amber bit on my Country Gentleman, and I have chewed the heck out of it. I do have a replacement for it, but it colored so nicely. That's why I haven't changed it. Um, it's good stuff. Oh, yeah. And like I said, you could smoke this around the wife and kids and no one's going to complain. This has such a good, such a good aroma to it. This is a true aromatic. It really is. But I wanted to keep this video short. I'm actually trying to scale back the length of time in some of my videos. Uh, so, listen, everybody, please enjoy this and check out this blend. Country, the Country Squire, uh, they are... Um, where are they at? They're in Jackson, Mississippi. All right. Jackson, Mississippi is a good town. Uh, you got to like music. Um, it's one of the things I love about the South, actually, is, is the, the music scene. You get down to Nashville, Memphis, uh, you, you know, Mississippi. If you're into the blues scene, you know, even Kentucky, uh, It's definitely music that, uh, you know, if, you, if you're into the blues and rock, things like that, country music, of course, it's definitely vibrant, and, uh, and there's so much culture and so much history in American music, uh, and you can actually, one of the nice things about American music is you can see the progression of the country in American music, and not every culture can say that. How their their culture has changed, uh, you know. Yes, Europe gave birth to classical music, which is outstanding. Um, but America is the home of blues, uh, which uh, and jazz, and which is blues with that classical precision, and and then you have. Uh, rock music and things like that. We aren't the birth of heavy metal. Birth of heavy metal, uh, that's England. Because uh, that's Black Sabbath. Alright, and, and I'll go toe to, I'll, I'll argue that all day with anybody. Black Sabbath to me is the greatest band ever lived. Uh, they gave birth to every, every genre of heavy music there was came out of Black Sabbath. But, uh, yes, American music has been so in instrumental and influential in our society and the progression of culture as well over the years. Um, it was, uh, it... <laughs> yeah, it was one of the things that blended our cultures, one of the things that helped to overcome believe it or not, racism, of all things, because you had people from different races, ethnic backgrounds, and it was really the birthplace of multi multiculturalism came in music, because you had an appreciation for someone else's music, you came and you listened to that person's music, <laughs> and, and, and you got to know the people who produced that music, so uh, I love music. 
any of my friends out there, who, anybody who knows me, knows I love music. Uh, I play guitar myself. Um, but one of the things I do love about the South is the variety of music down there and the vibrancy of the music scene. Um, you get guys who, and you get this up, up just about every place you go, but I found it to be more prevalent in the South uh, when I spent some time down there. Um, you have regular guys who would be hanging out on a Friday night. Next thing you know, there's guitars, drums, bass, and guys just hanging out jamming. You, you know, and it, and it just happens regularly. And I feel and so that was one. Of, that's yeah. You know, I digress. Got to flapping my gums too much, so so much so that my pipe went out. Um, but if you're looking for a good blend, that's like I said, very similar to Molto Dolce uh, in flavor and profile and room note. This is a this I can't miss. I, I believe this is identical to Molto Dolce. Maybe next time I'll just smoke them. I only have one cob out here. Uh, maybe I'll just uh, smoke them side by side and I'll get back to everybody on that. Man, this is good. Oh, yeah. This is the spot. Like I said, I'm going to sign out. Everybody, please enjoy your weekend. Uh, I got a couple other videos coming this week. Uh, we got a pipe opening coming soon. As, as it's, uh, today is February 15th. So you know what that means. Coming soon. Uh, and, uh, hope to do that video very shortly. Uh, Everybody, please have a good weekend. God bless and uh, keep you and your family and, and your loved ones. And uh, enjoy your weekends. Have a safe weekend. And uh, like, comment, share, subscribe. Keep smoking your pipes.